welcome back to another video. I got this comment and I get too, too, too excited because I have never created makeup, Halloween makeup for the kids. So this is actually such a good idea to do because it's like we always create the Halloween looks for the adults, but nobody thinks about the kids. I have seen few videos for the kids, but not a lot out there. So I have like between like five or six, maybe seven Halloween makeup look for kids that's super, super easy and that mothers can do. Kids, if you're watching this alone, make sure to watch with your mom so your mom can learn how to do this on you. So the video is going to be super easy and uh, super affordable so you don't have to like buy a bunch of makeup and stuff like a makeup artist. You can like literally buy little things and I'm going to walk you through all of them and I'm going to tell you what to buy and what not to buy. And also the DIYs like fake blood, I'm going to teach you guys how to create fake blood, like three different methods, and then also how to create latex if you don't like the smell of latex, which I don't, I hate the smell of latex. It smells so horrible. And also the, um, the scar wax, to be honest with you guys, I have never ever was able to like put the scar wax. Like it always like messes up for some reason. But I found a, another way for you guys to do that at home. You don't need to buy scar wax. I'm gonna teach you how to create a like, star, star scar wax and also how to create a uh, latex. Um, it's also good for people that has allergies from latex. So that's really really good. And then I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to create all these Halloween looks in case your kid want to uh, look like one of those for this Halloween. So before further ado, let's just get started. Method number one to make fake blood. We obviously gonna need stuff from our kitchen. We don't need to buy anything. Clean jar. We're gonna need some syrup, chocolate. Last thing is food coloring. Let's just make it together. You don't really need a like crazy measurement. You just go by how it looks. Is this a syrup? Very thick syrup. I wanna pour some water. By the way guys, this is perfect for the kids, especially kids going out on Halloween for trick or treat. This would be perfect to put this kind of uh, blood on their face or like however you want their costumes to be. It's good because it tastes so good. Okay, now we're gonna need some Hershey chocolate. I'm just putting, as I'm just like looking at it, how much I need. Seriously. I think that looks pretty good. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Next is the food coloring. I'm just gonna put like 10 drops. Three, then you're gonna shake it. You're gonna mix it. I mean, <laughs> this already looks so good. Look at this. This is gonna be some sticky blood, like a fake blood, because it has consistency to it. Look at that. As you guys can see, the blood looks super thick. And super good. Can we taste this? We're gonna put it on my skin actually to see how it moves. Whoa! That looks good. Can I take a taste? Mmm. So tasty. Sweet, juicy, homemade Halloween blood for the kids and for everyone else. But yeah. I think when I start using this from now on. I'm not buying any kind of chemical type of blood. That's not good for the kids and for me. So let's go to method number two. Method number two to make blood at home. Now I added some sugar. Now we're gonna add some hot water. Since I don't have any hot water in front of me, I'm gonna use some of my hot tea. So I'm just gonna put a little bit because I don't wanna put too much. I, I want the consistency to be a little bit thick. That should be good. I'm gonna let this do the job, get melted. Now we're gonna put some cocoa powder right here. One spoon should be fine. One spoon of cocoa powder. I think I'm gonna put two spoons so it can be a little bit thicker. Okay, I ended up putting three spoons. But it looks good. Now we're gonna need two coloring. For this one, we're gonna need two different food coloring. One is dark green and one is red green. I think I used this in the previous one. Yeah, so we're gonna put some of this in here. Like 10 drops, that's good. Now we're gonna put the cap, now we're gonna shake it. Okay, this one is very dark, blood. Let's test it out. Okay, it's not that thick as I, I was thinking, it's a little bit drippy. 
I wonder, what did I do wrong? Let's taste it actually. Mm, super sweet. Mm, <laughs> that was pretty fast. Time to clean this. So this last one didn't stain my face. The first one it did a, a little bit. But this last one is super droopy for some reason. Actually it's not, it's pretty good. But it tastes really good. Mmm. It's like cocoa. Okay, so that one is here. We have so far we made made two different jars of blood. This is a little bit darker and more liquidy. I feel like this one is the thickest one so far. The syrup one. Syrup and syrup and chocolate. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so the next one is super, super easy. So you, you're gonna need one lip gloss and any kind of red lipstick or uh, lip gloss, red lip, lip gloss, I guess. But I'm gonna use this lip gloss, uh, lipstick. I cut a little bit of it and I placed it here. Now we're we gonna apply some of this on top. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lip gloss there. Perfect. Now we're gonna give it a mix. Okay guys, this one has a really good consistency. Look at this. Wow. It's actually a really, really good idea, huh? Okay guys, that was our last one. And that was, I think, super, super easy. I have so much blood over here. So if you're making scar, this would be perfect because it has very, very, very thick consistency that you can put it right place on this scar. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make scar wax in one second using petroleum Vaseline. You're gonna need half of a spoon. Now we're gonna need um, a baby powder. Now we're gonna add the baby powder and the Vaseline. Now we're gonna mix this. If you don't have baby powder, you know, flour works too. So I'm just mixing it now. I forgot to add the foundation because we want the wax, wax scar to look like our skin, right? So adding a little bit foundation, it's okay. Just a little bit. Here is our wax, ready to go. So if it gets sticky on your hand, put some powder on your hand and then you can give it a mix. If you want this wax to last longer, make sure to watch the end of this video because I'm going to teach you how to apply this without dripping it or without coming off the end of the video. Now let's go make some latex. Now we're going to make a latex from just flour and water and this is super super easy and this is also good for people that has allergies from latex and this is actually less chemicals. You can do this for your kids and last minute thing that you don't have to order from online. It's super affordable. So we're going to just go ahead and make this. Um, all we have to do is add some water and make the consistency a little bit thick. Uh, like you'll know, like if it's too um, sticky, then no, it needs to be like a little bit hard and then we can apply it and make zombie looks, Halloween looks, whatever it is. We're going to move to that in a little bit. I'm also going to apply some foundation so it can be easy for me to when I apply so I don't have to go back and apply like foundation and setting powder and all of that. It looks pretty good. It's really mixed and it matches my skin almost. Oh, that's a little light. But yeah, you get the point, you know, like when you mix it and add powder and stuff, it's gonna like blend in. So if it's sticky, then whenever you apply it on the face, use a little bit powder on your hand, like baby powder or the flower itself, and then you can like apply whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna show you in the video how to apply this and what's the proper way to do it so it can stick all day long and it can get dry. So let's just begin. Okay, we're finally doing the kids Halloween makeup. I am so excited to share this with you guys because it's super, super easy. And I know a lot of people are not like pro into makeup and they don't have all the equipment. I totally get it. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna show you guys easily how to create kids Halloween makeup for your kids with less like makeup and, and more of DIY and easy. Okay, so the first one is the easy vampire look. Super easy. Let's just do this together. First thing I'm gonna start with is this. This is a cream paint which you can find water based and I'm going to show you guys the water one. For this one you don't need to set it's just you apply some water and this is from Miron it's a makeup paint you just apply this and you don't need to apply any kind of powder 
With this one, you need a little bit of powder. So I'm just gonna apply this and we're gonna apply baby powder. We don't need like makeup powder. So let's begin. I think I just added a little bit more. This is, this is more than enough. This is more than enough. <laughs> You just So if you have like nails like these that are long, you can file them down to small like this so you can make the teeth. Using poly grip is a good idea for the teeth, it holds the teeth so that way you don't need to use any kind of glue. Now we're just going to apply this to my teeth. It looks really cool. Okay, so I took off the teeth because I couldn't do the liner. Now we can do the liner first. You guys should do the liner first and then put the teeth on. Now I'm gonna add some red lipstick. Adding a little bit of the blood we made earlier is actually a good idea. The, the first one with the serum and chocolate. I'm going to add a little bit here. Wow. I'm going to drink some blood. <laughs> and yeah. Okay guys, the vampire look for kids Halloween it looks perfect. I think the kids going to love their blood because it tastes really, really good. It's yummy because it's sugar. Plus it's safe and all these colors that I used, they're, they're like no chemical in it and everything is just for, uh, good to use for the kids and just easy affordable for everyone so let's move to the next one okay we're creating the zombie look I already made the shirt I went and cut out a brand new shirt almost but they had some stains so I didn't need it anymore so I made some cuts and it's so super easy we can add some blood at the end and it's gonna look amazing let's get started okay so for zombie look we're gonna need our latex and this latex is super good you don't need glue or anything we're just gonna straight and apply some bites on the neck like right here I'm gonna make one straight line and then curve it this way like someone is bitten me you know like that perfect then another one on this side, like that. Like that. <laughs> While this gets dry, we're gonna do another patch on this side of the face. 
you just have to smooth out the edges like with your finger you can get some water works or the powder but just smooth out the edges like this we're gonna make a small patch on the eyes like on the forehead like a circle type of a wound I guess I think using water is a very good idea and softening out the edges You can either let this dry or if you want like a faster, you can use a blow dry and get it dry and then apply some powder so the stickiness can go on. I'm going to apply the baby powder that we've been using from the beginning of the video, just like this, so it can like dry out faster. On the neck, we're gonna need to create teeth, like someone bit the zombie and became a zombie. Like that. Okay. Next, adding a black um, eyeshadow color, it would be a good idea around the eyes. making like a dead zombie. But now I'm just adding some um, some eyeshadow just around the, the zombie's wound so it can look like it's matching with the skin or it's a, it's a, it's a bit or it's a disease, like making it a little grayish. You guys see how the uh, the latex matches my skin, so I don't have to put foundation and do like whole a lot of another uh, layers of makeup. So this is pretty good, you know. So this part we're just gonna create like the 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 skin of the zombie is coming off or something, and we're making like little holes in there. We can just put it away like this. Now I'm just gonna add some um, white paint just to make the face a little bit like pale. Now I'm just gonna go with like black eyeshadow and make it look like gray. So it can look like a realistic zombie. You guys remember the first, uh, this, the third blood I made which was a lip gloss and lipstick? We're gonna need that now. We're gonna put it in the zombie's teeth right here, like that. Then going back to just blend the, the color a little bit and make it a little bit like a woundy type. Now we're gonna apply blood on those wounds. Like the zombie just got like killed or something. <laughs> something just happened to the zombie. On this one, you can use your fingers and just like spread the blood all over the wound. I literally smell chocolate right now, guys. <laughs> Using this would be like so much helpful. Like you're just adding blood everywhere. Here. Do you see this part? How weird it looks. It looks like my skin came off. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the last part is the fun part. <laughs> Let me add some blood on my clothes. So, the second batch that we made, which was like, I guess, from um, brown sugar, we're gonna use that on our clothes. I'm just gonna go do this. Wow, guys, I literally ruined this shirt. Wow, this is the perfect kid zombie. Seriously, guys, the last part is we're gonna make this a little interesting and add a little bit of rice. Like, uh, like little worms are coming up of the skin. <laughs> Ew. Okay, the look. 
it's done. <laughs> Looks pretty scary, guys. Look at my shirt. Um, I didn't ask you guys, what, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? What are you guys trying to do for Halloween? Or what are you guys wearing? Are you guys putting makeup? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to give you guys a couple of scary, creepy, uh, dummy look and then... Guys, it is so good. That is so good. I'm eating chocolate syrup and uh, some food coloring. It's super cool. But yeah, you guys, let's move to the next one. The next look is gonna be the werewolf um, scratch, and we're gonna use this scar wax that I made earlier. So super super easy. Let's do the eyes really quick. We're gonna go ahead and do like a. Like an orangey eyeshadow, um, you can put any kind of um, paint that you have that works too. We're just gonna go ahead and do the eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. This is only for like kids and for the trick or treats when the kids go out. <laughs> In the bottom, we're just gonna uh, blend the dark color that I added from previous look. And this is super duper easy guys there we go we're good to go here now i'm gonna go ahead and do the the wax on the face we're gonna do a few areas so this kit has been um bit by the werewolf maybe a few other areas too and you don't have to put any kind of glue since um, the kids are like going to chocolate tree like in nighttime, it's kind of cold as long like it's cold outside and stuff. So you don't need to like it's not gonna melt or anything, you guys. And then we're gonna put a small like a like a small bite here. The good thing about this uh, wax that I made, the wax. Um, scar it is so easy to blend and it's just like and it blends in with skin you know now we're gonna apply some powder on top of this so it can like so the shine can go away now we're gonna make cuts like a small one and a small one Now we can, we can just add any kind of um, like red paint just along the the wound like the cut, so it can look like it's been um, bit. Now we're gonna add some like we can go straight to this one the the third one we made. This is the lip gloss and the lip gloss and what was it uh, lipstick so we can just go ahead and apply this inside the wound now we need to make the nose a little bit black like this And adding some black color around your forehead is just gonna make the look more stand out, like something like this. So that kind of brings out the the look. Super cool, right? Super super cool. Now we're gonna make the with black paint. We're gonna make the lips also black. Now, I'm just gonna add some blood here. So if you put a little bit, what happens? It comes down and stops. But if you put a lot, it's gonna drip like this. If that Guess what? A couple of TikToks ago, I... Okay guys, here is the look. It's done. It's super easy. It's so fast and so affordable. You can do it. I know you can do this for your kids. Okay, so uh, let me give you guys a couple of shots and then we'll do the next.
The next look is super easy too and it only requires colors like this and seriously these colors are super good. It's even better than eyeshadow and cream colors because it activates with water and that's all you have to do is use water and apply it on your face and it also glows at night like especially for the kids going outside at nighttime trick or treat. I mean this would be perfect for them so we just gonna quickly create anything. I mean something right we can create a skeleton with these we can create I don't know um, what else we can create like a, the purge like anything you can create with this let's just do it quickly I think I'm just gonna outline the skeleton look and all I did is I'm gonna use this color by the way but all I did I dipped my brush in the water and I brought it here and then that's it that's all it is you guys look at the color Now we're gonna, after creating these squares on the face, which should be fine, now we're gonna bring a line here, like that, and another one, like that. If you want to be a little bit creative, you can just add some shadows if you want. I mean, you can't really see it at night time, but this is pretty cool. So it would look super cute on the kids to do this. So this would be a super cute look at night time for the kids to do. So make sure you guys do something like this and be creative, help the kids, and have a good time. And Let's do the last look and then we call it a night. Okay, so this next look is super, super easy. It's going to be a witch. Uh, I'm going to use the green paint and make it, make it a witch look. Super easy, guys. Super, super easy. You can apply it with your hands on our brush, doesn't really matter. So my camera kind of died. <laughs> I did some contouring just with black or like you can get dark, uh, dark green. You just have to contour the face very heavily so it can look like this. Now we're going to go ahead and do the eyebrows. You can also add a mole right here. There you go. Now we are a witch. You can put like a, a witch hat and then the, the, something like the clothes and then that's all you have to do. Right? So easy. Finally, we're done. I am super, super happy. It's been like a whole day for me, but I'm so excited for you guys to watch this. And uh, thank you so much for your love and support on my channel. Like this means a lot for me. And let me know which one you're gonna pick for your kids. Um, if not, what are you gonna do? I would love to know what are you guys wearing for Halloween and what looks are you going for? I'm actually gonna go for a skeleton look. I'm gonna wear like a skeleton Halloween costume and do a half a skeleton with like rainstones and like bedazzles so it can look so nice at night time. And the other half is gonna be human. Watch my Instagram and TikTok to be updated on my Halloween look. 
Uh, I might be going out this weekend. If you like this video, give me a big, big, big thumbs up. It helps the channel. And also, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing because I post every single week all about makeup and beauty. After Halloween, I'm going to start posting a skincare routine, how to take care of your skin and how to recover everything that's happening for the Halloween. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.